Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the limited edition uh, Disney Frozen dolls, the new ones. Um, as you can see back there behind me, and I also have the first ones with there up there. So this is actually the third set of limited edition dolls. Um, they are the 17 inch dolls, and they are, well when I started buying them, they were $100, and now the new ones are $120, so they've upped the price. Um, so this is actually my second set, but it's the third set. This is actually the third set of Anna and Elsa that they have released, and I'm guessing it's because of popularity. Um, and I almost wasn't gonna get it, I was almost just gonna get Kristoff, because I didn't have a Kristoff, and Kristoff is the first Kristoff. But then I saw him in person, and the Disney store had him when I went in, so I was like, <gasps> so I just got him. So anyways, it happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all three dolls right now. The Kristoff, Anna, and Elsa, the third one, which is coming out just in time for the Disney, uh, the Frozen Fever. So they're also having the Frozen Fever dolls at the Disney Store, which I'll be reviewing those soon as well. But I do want to go ahead and show you the, show you guys these dolls because I know some of you guys are going to be curious. Um, so they were available um, online. Um, I mean, in stores first, and then online on Wednesday. So the time this is going to be out, there's a good chance that they will already be sold out. But you can still go check your Disney store, and if you really want them, you might be able to find them on eBay. But you're probably going to have to pay a little bit higher of a price just because that's how eBay goes. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this review started, and I'll show you guys the three Anna, Anna, Kristoff, and Elsa new dolls for uh, 2015. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start with Kristoff. So he is the first boy limited edition Frozen doll um, to. Be released. I don't know if he's the only one they're going to do, but this is him. Uh, and again, these are 17 inches, and they are about $120 at the Disney Store. So I'm just going to give you guys kind of a close-up look of all of them. And I'm holding my camera. I'm trying to keep it nice and smooth so it's not too shaky for you guys. So here's his face. Um, I love it. And he has real hair, as you can see. Like, you can kind of touch it. And they do have plastic coverings, but I did take them off so that you guys can see it better. Um, and the cool thing about this guy is if you turn him around, here on the back you have Sven. There's Kristoff and there's Sven, his moose. Um, so he is, he's, I'm very glad that I got him to go with my collection, especially since I had the first ones. Um, and yeah, as you can see, they have lots of detail. He has this little medallion here. He has lots of embroidery. They use really nice fabric. Um, so they definitely don't cheap out with these dolls. And even in the background, you can see Arendelle there with all the snow. Um, and then he also comes with a certificate, so you guys can see what number he is. So this says, uh, Kristoff Collector Doll, and he is number 1,468. So that's the Kristoff one, and um, then we're going to move over to Elsa. So this is the third Elsa to be released in the 17-inch dolls, and they do have some slight differences, which I'm about to get out my original Elsa one, which is sold back closer when the movie was released and show you guys that one so you guys can kind of see the differences. But as you can see, there is tons of details, like everything. It just has tons of embroidery, there's like real buttons. This is really, I mean, it's really nice material. Her face is really pretty, and her hair is just up in a bun, and this one in particular does have some tinsel in her hair, as you guys can see. Um, and her background just kind of looks like she's in the castle, in her castle in Arendelle, because that's definitely not her frozen castle. Um, but you can look at all the detail down here at the bottom. Let's see if we can take a peek at her shoes, what kind of shoes she's wearing. So she's just wearing flat shoes right here. And of course these all do come with sand, so if you're one of those people that want to take them out, you can, but the nice thing about how the way Disney Store does this is that you can totally take off the plastic and you can touch your doll and feel her fabric, which I know a lot of people like to do, um, and then put the plastic back on so that you can preserve her, her um, her beauty without getting dust on her. And then look at her gloves. She's got little crystals there on her gloves. All right, so just so you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull. This is the original Elsa doll, the very first one that was released. Um, and she sold out super, super fast. And she's only limited edition of 2,500. This one is limited edition of 5,000 and she is number 3,698. And here's her certificate. But as you can see, they have different backgrounds, and this is like her, her most well-known dress. I'm really happy I got that one, which is why I almost didn't get this one, because I already had one, but now that I have her, I really, really do love her, and the detail's really nice, and I don't mind having dolls in different outfits. I mean, everything's different about her. Her hair is different, and something they did new with the dolls, if you guys can kind of notice, is this one has like really shiny skin. Her skin's like this porcelain-looking shiny skin, which I think is might be a new thing that Disney's doing, versus the older one, it's more of just like a pale, uh, skin, but this one's gorgeous. I love this one. I love them both. So that is the Anna one that you can get at the Disney store. She's 17 inches. Um, really quick, I did want to show you guys. Oh, right here. Here's a Monster High doll. 
I'm gonna show you guys how tall they are compared to like a normal like Monster High Barbie size doll. So as you can see, the back dolls are huge. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this. So this is like the normal, this is a Monster High doll, but this is like the same size height pretty much as a Barbie is. So you can see the, the size comparisons. These ones are much larger dolls, but I like the larger dolls. I think they're nice. All right, so last but definitely not least, she's actually my favorite in this collection is the Anna doll. And um, I really just like her outfit in this one. I think it's really detailed. I think it's really nice. Um, I just love it. I, she's actually my personal favorite. Um, I normally end up liking Elsa's better than like Anna, but this one in particular, I really, really just like her better. Um, and here's her certificate. And she's actually number 763, so I got a pretty low one. Um, as far as what number she is, but as you can see in her background, I love her background because she's like outside of Arendelle and it's like in the summertime. So the cool unique thing about all three of these, she's inside of course, you know, cause she's kind of reserved or whatever. And then he's like outside Arendelle, but when it's frozen and you know, whenever it's like winter and Elsa freezes it and stuff. And then Anna's outside whenever it's like summer and everything. So here's a close up of Anna. I love her. and. She, they did the exact same thing, like here's regular, the new Anna, and then here's the first Anna they ever released, and as you can see, the differences with their skin, this one's really shiny, and this one, her skin is not as shiny, this one looks more porcelain. Um, I do like, I, uh, I do gotta say, I do like her hair in this one a little bit better than this one. I like her hair in this one, this is like her coronation outfit or whatever, but this one's like, it's more Anna to me. Um, anyway, so here's Anna, just show you guys. You guys can see she has tinsel in her hair as well. Very detailed doll. You guys can see all the detail that they have they've put into and thought they've put into this. Lots of jewels. I mean, tons of seams and, you know, fake buttons and all kinds of stuff. I love this right here. That's really nice little detail. Um, and then, like, as you can see, they're very poseable. So if you do decide to take them out and pose them for any odd reason and you're not one of those extreme collectors, then you can do that. And then down here is her bottom of her skirt. Look at all the embroidery and jewels in there. It's very detailed. And then here's her shoes, which are like her boots. You know, that's kind of honest things is boots, but they're green. And of course she comes with a stand as well. And one thing that I really do like about this material and this material is that th the material that they use, it has a very warm like thing to it. So like this feels like very warm material. So it feels like it's cold, you know, like it feels like it's cold outside. This Kind of feels like it's warm material too, which is kind of awkward because it's supposed to be summer. So I almost feel like with this material, they should have used something like this. But I mean, I still like it. I'm just saying, that's my personal opinion. Anyways, I'll show you guys again. Here's the, the, that was the very first one released. And this is the third one released. I don't have the second ones. I just, I didn't want to get the second ones, but I'm glad, I'm really glad I got the third ones. So anyways, guys, that is um, my review on these three. I love them, the 17 inch dolls. Um, you can only get them at the Disney Store or DisneyStore.com, but you have Anna and Elsa and Kristoff, and I love them, and I just hope you guys enjoyed this review. I really wanted to show you guys, and I know a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to get these because they are more expensive, and I just want to point out that I'm not doing this review to rub anything in the face. I'm not trying to say, look what I got, look what I got. I just know a lot of you guys really want to see these dolls, um, even for you guys who can't buy them. I know some of you guys just want to see them to see what they look like, and I really enjoy doing that for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review as well. All right, guys, so that's my review on the limited edition Frozen Disney Store dolls. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review, and if you guys are getting these dolls, Good luck getting them. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I hope you guys take care of them because they are definitely collector's items. And for me, they are really, really worth the money because I'm a huge Disney fan. I still love Frozen. I feel like sometimes people are getting a little bit tired of it. Um, and I can kind of understand that because Frozen is everywhere. But um, it's a classic now. It's a, it's, a, it's already a Disney classic, Frozen is. Like, it turned into one so quick. And I just love the whole entire storyline. So I love collecting these dolls. I just think they're so much fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, that way I know you guys enjoyed it. Or just leave me a comment. Whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Boop, boop, boop. Bye.